Hello and welcome to Book Reading with Sammy. Today we are going to read a book from Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom. It's called The Magical Tale of Ben and Holly. This is the Little Kingdom. It has the Bramble Woods, the Pine Forest, the Elf Oak Wood, and the Little Forest. This is the magical tale of Ben and Holly. In the royal family tree, we can see it's King and Queen Thistle and their children, Princess Holly, Daisy and Poppy, and Nanny Plum. She is their nanny. And in the, in the elf family tree, there is Mr. and Mrs. Elf and Ben Elf and the wise old elf. And also, who are we missing? It's Gaston, the ladybird. Once upon a time, hidden behind thorny brambles, there was a land of elves and fairies. It was called the Little Kingdom. Everyone lived here was very, very small. Holly was fairy princess. She lived with her mommy and daddy in a tiny castle, the little castle. Being a fairy, Holly had wings and a magical wand. Hi, I'm Holly. That's Holly shouting from the castle. But being a young fairy, Holly, he was still learning how to fly and do magic spells. Ooh. What happened? Whoops. Oh no, why isn't it working? Very often her spells didn't work out quite as she expected. Eek, she turned Ben blue. Holly's best friend was Ben Elf. Ben lived on the other side of the little kingdom in a hollowed out oak tree called the Great Elf Tree. In fact, all the elves lived in the great elf tree. I'm an elf, toot, says Ben. Holly says, hello, Ben. There is somebody who says, quick, who can that be? It's a mouse. Being an elf, Ben didn't do magic and he didn't have wings, but he was very good at running, jumping, climbing and making things, especially toys. Ben and Holly's special friend was Gaston the ladybird. Gaston lived in a smelly cave and was a little bit like a dog. He liked to bark. Woof, woof. He liked to fetch sticks like a dog. He liked to eat smelly food. Ew. He liked to roll onto his back and have his tummy tickled. He is so happy now. He he he. Remember how everyone who lived in the little kingdom was very, very small? Well, they were really small. Gaston walking on a banana. Woof, he's saying woof. And look how small he is. But that didn't stop Ben and Holly from having big adventures. Ben standing on a carrot, Holly with a tomato. One day, Holly's mommy and daddy, King and Queen Thistle, decided it was time for Holly to have some proper magic lessons. So they asked to get a new nanny. So all the nannies are here. They sent out word that they were looking for a magic nanny. Several fairies applied for the job, but only one was just right. She was called Nanny Plum. Nanny Plum taught Holly and the other fairy children how to do spells. Abracadabra. Wow. Now Holly can do magic spells. Zigzag. Make it big. But sometimes even Nanny Plum's spells went a bit wrong. Ugh, what's that snail doing here? 
birdie wordy. Ah, there is so much of ice cream now. Croak, croak. Nanny Plum turned into a frog. Ben was taught by a wise old elf who was called the wise old elf. He was wise, he was old, and he was an elf. Elves, especially the wise old elf, didn't approve of magic. Ahem, no flying or magic, please, says the wise old elf. Nanny Plum and the wise old elf disagreed about a lot of things, especially when it came to teaching the children. But really, deep down, they were friends. They are smiling and laughing. Ha ha, ho ho. Sometimes Nanny Plum needed non-magic help from the elves. And sometimes the wise old elf needed some magic help from the fairies. Fairies and elves are often friends in the little kingdom. And Ben and Holly were the best of friends. At the end of each day, Ben and Holly would say good night to each other and go back to their homes. Good night, Ben. Good night, Holly. Safely tucked in bed, Holly would tell her daddy about the spells she learned. Then King Thistle would read her a story. Cozy in his bed, Ben would tell his mommy about the things he made that day. Then Mrs. Elf would read him a story. And warm and snug in his basket, Gaston would fall asleep in his lovely, messy, smelly cave. The end. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.